Oh, it's uh, rather unexpected, but my uh, stepmother just called, and I couldn't answer the phone. I didn't want to talk to her. Um, um, and then I was sitting there afterwards and feeling bad that I wouldn't talk to her. Because I'm compelled to feel her emotions. That's the trap. I'm in with psychopaths. And that's what gives them power over me. But they're ignorant of the fact that they have power over me. They just have power over me. They just, they aren't aware that they have power over me. Or, no, they're aware of it, but they don't understand it. And now that I understand it, I can better do something about it. Okay. Yeah, I make a lot of progress this week. Wow. Um, <laughs> we'll see soon if it's uh, going to play up, um, pay off. But, um, yeah, so I, I felt awful that I didn't want to talk to her. But I can't talk to her. She's a psychopath. She's a zombie. And she'll just influence my thinking. And there won't be a thing I can do about it. Oh my god, this is... Whoa. Okay, people like me who are compelled to be empathetic cannot be around psychopaths. It's dangerous. It's like matter and antimatter. Only psychopaths win. Well, but they're not the real humans. Yeah, a friend of mine mentioned this uh, yesterday that I needed to, uh, in the paper I'm writing, um, to recognize that, and then for the show, I guess, but to recognize that um, people who are compelled to be emotional, um, you know, feel the emotions of, well, feel what the emotions should be of a psychopath, you know, you know, it's like just, just now with my stepmother, she is a psychopath, I do not want to communicate with her because she will influence me, and I recognized that when she called and I didn't want to talk to her, I made myself a rule, no war, I'm not talking to her anymore. And if you want to understand why, she, her best friend, okay, her best friend since high school, okay, since high school, is on disability for depression and other symptoms, is living on a sailboat, rather like her own son. And what does she do to her, her, her best friend? Oh, well, she's on disability. She's getting aid from the state. And, you know, I, I just I just can't abide by that, you know, she's, there's obviously nothing wrong with her, she's just, you know, sad and, and doesn't want to work and doesn't want to contribute, you know. I'm on disability. I live on a sailboat. What does she think of me? Oh, we never thought of that, did we? Okay. So, her own son is in the same situation that her best friend is. How does she treat her best friend? How does she think? She told me what she thinks of her best friend the first time I saw her in five years. She told me, in person, first time we see each other, five years. Okay, I call her. By, by miracle, the call I make is she's a mile away from me. I haven't seen her in five years. Don't know where she lives. I'm driving through Los Angeles for the first time in five years and call her and she's within a mile of me. So we meet and talk. Tears, hugs, all that. And then she's telling me all the things that are going on in her life and she's so upset because her best friend is on disability and doesn't want to contribute and is just being a bum. And she's so sad that she's lost her best friend to humanity. Oh. And I felt so bad for her, for about a microsecond, and I felt bad for her best friend. And I've been trying to get a hold of her best friend. So this begs the question, what does my stepmother want? 
Or is she just trying to keep the channel's communication open? I don't know. I don't know. But I know she is a psychopath. She cannot be trusted. She's a zombie. She must be treated as a zombie. Cannot be trusted. Again, I am empathetic. I'm compelled to feel the emotions of others, including psychopaths. Who don't have those such such reactions. You know? So, I have to be aware that she is a psychopath to protect myself because I am an empath. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know that that's the correct term. Okay, it's just the term I'm using for now. Until I find the correct one. Because it sounds better than... Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense to do that. But anyway, so I am armed with understanding. And yes, that understanding seems cruel, but this is where moral reasoning comes in. I understand that my stepmother is dangerous to me. I cannot interact with her. That's moral reasoning. Yes, it affects someone. But it more affects me adversely than it affects her adversely. See how that works, too. All makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway, I just wanted to share how I uh, felt, reacted to my stepmother calling me. Anyway, I've got some planning to do. I've got something big that I'm trying to work on.